interwebs max here and today we're going to be looking on how to make plaque in warframe now this is actually very easy um a lot of people don't like the grind in warframe don't like having to farm for stuff but that is this game and making platinum is actually very easy you probably have some platinum sitting in your inventory or in your foundry already you just don't realize it yet um, a lot of mods and a lot of parts for frames are worth more platinum than people realize or are actually worth platinum than people don't realize that either. Um, for those of you who have watched any of my other videos, uh, specifically the one I said about Oberon, I'm on Oberon now and I'll be coming out with a video, uh, a final form video for Oberon soon. Uh, but that's for that video and I'll save that. Um, now, to make platinum in Warframe, you simply have to play the game. That, 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 that is the baseline. You have to play the game. Don't just farm the same missions over and over again. Play different missions. And what I mean is, let's start with the mods. When you get into mods, Operator, there are some that? mods that it's are actually a... worth quite a bit of money. So let's go to Rarity. Radiation is a riot. As you can see, I've got a couple of ribbons. Now, ribbons are a good way to make money. Or platinum in Warframe just don't overdo it um, I have a lot of people who have tried selling me crazy ribbons they're really good ribbons but they're asking like 2,000 platinum like this Tigress when I got a Tigress ribbon it had negative damage it had negative status duration and I think it had positive status chance and um, I think it was slight reload speed I rerolled it 25 times as you can see this was the eighth or ninth roll, and I've been looking for something better. That's an okay roll. I mean, it's not a god roll, but it'll work. And people were offering me upwards of a thousand platinum for this because they were telling me that, oh, that's a god roll, and that's what everybody else would try and sell that for. Which is actually kind of depressing because putting such a high price on that, which realistically won't be that good eh. now getting down to something like my euphona prime if you're going to play with the critical the zoom is kind of crap and i am trying to re-roll it but if you're going to get a god god roll mod um i actually don't think i have any god roll mods that's funny i got a critical chance on that one but if you get a god roll ribbon and it's got no negatives it's got like Say if you're running like the Opticor and you have 200% uh, critical chance, 200% critical damage, 80% uh, faster reload speed, that's a really, really good ribbon. And I would buy, I would, I would pay personally 600 more pot for that. But these are very overpriced. If you're going to buy these, be very careful because they can be really overpriced. If you're going to sell them, be fair. That's all I'm going to say. If you have a ribbon, you're not going to use it. Like my dual toxicist, I love this weapon. I will never sell this. But if I were going to sell that, people wouldn't pay as much for it because it's not a great weapon. So if you get something for the Tigris or for the Soma, expect people to try and rip you off either way. But, at the same time, if you get something very useful or very common, mods are very iffy. If you get a blind rage from ODD or transient fortitude or so even jolt, jolt sells for a little bit, then you'll get more fair pricing and you'll sell them faster than if you're trying to sell a ribbon. Just because everybody knows there's a lot of scams out there. Now, in my opinion, the best way to get uh, to get platinum is through the Void Relics. Now, as you can see, I don't really have too, too many right now because I've been farming them. Um, but if you're going to farm these, farm them often. Now, I don't really have a lot of prime junk on me because I sell it quite often. Now, if you're... Gonna if you're gonna say oh well which one's worth the most? I think Vaubon and Tigris Prime right now on PlayStation anyway are selling for the most. Vaubon Prime sells for the most because 
all of his parts are rare. So, I don't know how many of his relics I have because I did farm him quite a bit. Yeah, see, rare, rare. So, chassis and blue, uh, chassis and systems are both rare on Lith V2 and V4. Uh, systems blueprint. So, there's his blueprint on Neo V2. Is their optics on Neo V5. So, all of his parts are rare, which means it's harder to farm him, which means it's worth more plat. Um, Vaughn Prime sells for a bunch of different prices. Like, frames sell for a range of prices depending on who's buying them. But, some staples that you want to farm for uh, Trinity Prime. As soon as I get a Trinity Prime set, I sell it. Because as soon as I post it, I got four messages, four or five PMs, people saying, hey, I want to buy Trinity Prime, how much? Now, I usually sell between 35 and 50 plat for Trinity Prime. I, I don't know if I'm undershooting or overshooting. Um, I sold a legendary core for 300 plat. Um, like, I usually go for what kind of seems fair to me and what I would pay. Now, I might be screwing myself out of a lot of platinum but I, I'm selling it now how much platinum I have right now 7650 and that's all from farming mods from Nightmare ODD selling a couple of different ribbons and then literally just farming void relics and cracking them open farming void relics you just find a good defense mission or a survival mission or an interception or an excavation and you sit in those missions for as long as you possibly can and then get out with what you have um, Rhino Prime right now uh, I don't know how many of those I have because I, I farmed him beyond extinction um, Neuroptics are in the B1 Chassis is in Meso M1 Systems are in Neo V3, and his blueprint is in Axie R1. So actually, my farm that today. Now, the only pain in the butt with that is, say, so let me go there. There it is. These don't pop up all the time. Now, what I mean by these don't pop up, you can run an Axie exterminate. Okay, not bad. Very quick mission done over with you can run a spy okay done over with survival defense and uh, excavation are the best ones to do not because you have a better chance of doing anything not because you get better drops but most of the time you're feeding your relics so say you only have 10 meso relics altogether if you're in an interception or an excavation, you're getting something pretty frequently. Um, defense missions can take a long time, um, depending on how quick you're killing everything or if there's something glitched to the map. Survival takes five minutes no matter what. Um, excavation can take anywhere from, you know, three minutes up to get both of them. But you have to wait to get your 10, uh, your 10 reactive. Now, I'm just going to give you a quick I'm very example here. Now. The anticipation. I'm going to jump into this exterminate and try and get that rhino part, actually. Another thing you should remember, if a part is rare, now I don't know how much percentage this gives you, but it does help, because I had... I was trying to farm for the Tiger's Prime Blueprint, which is in the Neo or Meso, I don't know, it's a T1 Relic, and it's the rare drop. I farmed, I'd say 30 of them, 30, 35 of them, and nothing. So getting into that, I was very upset I didn't level any of them up, realized I had a thousand um, on the void traces, I perfected it, like made it to the final level. 
All right, before we get into a mission, I'm going to actually talk about how to make the platinum from your farm. Um, now, if you go into uh, chat here, you can go to the trade chat, and as you can see, WTB, WTS, that's what you want to be doing. So you go in, you know, want to buy Opticore Ribbon. Now, I was looking for pricing on this because I wanted to sell mine. So, check it up. So, Opticore Ribbon. Now, this is a lot like fishing. You cast your net as wide as you can and don't say specifics. Like, if you want an Opticore Ribbon, don't give positive or negative attributes. Just say Opticore Ribbon. You can roll it yourself. So, this guy, Opticore Ribbon, 200 plat which is not horrible uh, this guy actually posted his fire rate damage and reload speed so that's actually a pretty decent one um, so how much Orders has been counting stars operator all accounted for he'll probably come up with a figure yeah see a lot of people will do this um, I'm not the best at doing that kind of stuff. I'll generally offer one plat and then say, you know, if you want to sell something, you make the price. And that's something else I'm going to bring up is if you're going to sell something, know how much you want to make for it. If they ask you how much first before you ask them how much they want to pay, give them a price. Don't beat around the bush. Give them a price of what you want and let them argue back and forth. Don't just, hey, you know what, I'll, he wants to sell that for way too much. I'm just not going to bother with him. Negotiate. And if you have some points that make sense, say uh, he's trying to sell that optical for 200 plat. Say, you know, optical is really not that good of a weapon. Uh, I'm going to have to roll that a little bit. You know, can you bring me down to lay 100? He'll say something else, or he'll just give you another price, come at you 180, and you just go back and forth like that. If he doesn't want to negotiate, don't buy from him. Plain and simple. People that don't want to negotiate aren't aren't going to help, and everything they're trying to sell is literally just, you know what, I want to rip people off and get as much money as possible. So buyers beware, and don't be that kind of seller. So uh, let's jump into the mission, and we'll continue farming. All right, now that everybody's muted, I can continue. Nobody's gonna say crazy. Systems. So, when you're farming these, it's very simple. Um, just for anybody who hasn't nearby. done these before, do you, you want to look for the corrupted enemies because they're the only ones that'll drop the reactant, and reactant is what you need to open your relic. Look out for so, in a situation, most situations, to be honest, people will kill things before the corrupted stage is gun happy. See these particle effects? Like that, right there. See him? He's corrupted. Those particle effects means they're corrupted. Um, if you're in a corpus mission and you see a grenier, it's corrupted. Whether you see the name or not, if you see a grenier and you're in a corpus mission, it's corrupted. Same as the other way around. If you see a corpus and you're in a grenier mission, it's corrupted. If you're in a mission and you see a blue nullifier and a yellow nullifier, the yellow, the yellow nullifier will always be corrupted. Um, sometimes I end up seeing blue nullifiers that are corrupted as well. But next is the uh, a visual glitch. Now, as you can see, we have 10 reactants. Well, this will do her little spiel telling you that you know you've got the 10 reactants, you're, you're ready to unlock it, and you should finish your mission. Alright, let's do that nice and quick, and then we'll jump to the end. Alrighty, now that everything's dead, um, I just wanted to bring up another point. The fact that people make a lot more platinum, like I make a lot of platinum. To be fair, 7,000 platinum is quite a bit. Um, I usually hover around the one 2,000 platinum margin. But with Rhino Prime out, um, people don't really want to spend money on him, so they'll spend platinum, which doesn't make sense to me if you get the platinum in the first place if you're not farming. Anyway, not for me to say. So, that's another way you can get it, is by, by, oh, is by buying 
platinum. Um, you're not going to be ashamed for doing it. And in a lot of ways, you'll be helping out the game. You're going to be helping out the E. Um, because this is a free game. And buying platinum isn't exactly a horrible idea. But at the same time, you can get platinum a hundred times easier without spending in life money by just spending time in the game. Like right now I'm just playing Exterminate. I'm getting other stuff, I'm getting drops, um, like I would in any other mission, and I'm gonna get something here. Now I don't know what I'm gonna get. Open, yeah there, Rhino Prime Blueprint first try. YouTube is luck I guess, eh? Um, you phone a Prime Blueprint, I actually kinda want that, but at the same time the Rhino Primes are selling for really good flat right now so I'm gonna keep that. Now if you're a new player Mission complete. and you're, you you only got a couple good frames like say you started with Excalibur and you got like a Loki and a Rhino you got really lucky somebody helped you out. If you have a Rhino a very basic build with Rhino will carry you into you know the Lith, Meso and Neo you'll be able to do all three no problem once you get into the Axie survivals and defenses the later on, you won't be able to do them as easy. So I would recommend getting a couple of friends, which brings me to one of my last points is make friends. And no, you don't have to go in recruitment chat and hey, looking for friends. Go into recruit chat or go onto the forums or something and find a, a recruitment system and play the game with other people you'll learn things from those people they'll you'll teach them some things and you'll be able to play more efficiently and get what you want um raiding is also a really good way to get platinum but it requires friends that know what they're doing uh, if you know what you're doing that's awesome um i would recommend going to a raid with no less than five um, I wouldn't go in with eight. Um, a lot more glitches and stuff happen in my experience. If you go in with more people, um, I would go with five. Operator. Uh, six I is usually one to the top. If any more than six are in the group, I'm kind of like, okay, well, we'll have to be really careful because generally one person gets kicked per raid if you're playing with more than six people, more than five people. But Arcane sell for quite a bit. If you're lucky enough to get an Arcane Energize, those sell from anywhere from three to 500 Platinum. So, I mean, that farm is worth it. Plus, you get a ton of credits from every raid. So, in summary, I mean, Platinum is literally obtained from playing the game. From Axie Relics and Meso and Neo and Lith. Like, doesn't matter if you're playing a Lith Relic and get the Axe Little Prime Blueprint. Or Axie. Nobody's gonna know, you know, oh, he only got that part from a lift. I can't, I'm not gonna spend that much platinum on it. That's not how that works. Um, if you're not willing to do the farm, then buy plat. Like, that's the only thing I can tell you, because farming platinum is the best way to get it, and the easiest way to get it, unless you want to spend real life money. Um, the other thing I can say is mods Nightmare Mods, I have not sorry, Nightmare any. Missions, uh, ODD, Orc and Derelict, uh, Raids, Void Relics, Mods, stuff like that. If you're going to run Stalker or G3 or Zanuka, they have some pretty good drops like Split Chamber. Uh, I think Heavy Caliber drops from one of them or that might be an ODD, I have no idea. Uh, I can't remember how I got mine, I've had it for so long. Mods like Split Chamber will sell. As soon as you post it, you're selling it. Because there's enough people who are new to the game that are like, hey, I see that mod in my favorite YouTuber's build, so I want that mod. Now, you're not going to sell it for a lot, but it is platinum. Now, that's the last point I'm going to bring up. Don't expect to get rich quick. If you are crazy lucky, you get a God Roll Ribbon, you end up getting a Rhino Prime set, first try every relic, you end up getting a Tiger's Prime set, first try every relic, you sell all of those, you're probably going to have close to a thousand platinum. 
um, if you already have some left. You're not going to get a thousand platinum from selling the three of those unless you're really overpricing your ribbon again. But sell your primes for a fair price, make friends, and then you can make platinum. I have four or five people that are brand new to this game that only have two or three warframes, and they tell me, hey, you know what, I need some help farming this. If I go farm that while well, they're not online or they're doing something else, I'll sell it to them for dirt cheap. Like, I just got an Oberon Prime set just from some extra relics I had lying around. And I sold it to the guy for 15 plat. He was a brand new player, like MR0 still. And I was okay, here. When you get enough MR to build this guy, have fun. He's a pretty decent frame. You like him, here it is. I could have sold him for double, if not triple that. But I got the platinum. And now I have a friend who will buy stuff from me. So. Just think about that. If you want to make platinum, play the game and be fair. If you're overpricing everything, you might get one or two people that'll buy from you, but in the end, I'll make more platinum than you because I'm pricing everything fairly and I'm selling 20 things to your one. So that's it. Very easy. Play the game, make platinum. If you liked the video, press like. If you didn't like it press dislike any feedback at all is welcome in the comments uh, what videos you guys want to see next what kind of content you're interested in and uh, I'll talk to you guys later